Thank you to go back to the channel. What we gotta do today. We have to change the release valve up here. Alright? So let's go to the change today. this because it's leaking. You know, every time I hit my brakes, the air is spitting out. I'm going to go ahead and do this now. Get one off. Get the other one off. It's already loose, so it should be that hard to come off. Maybe I can't see it that good because we got these lines in the way, but that's pretty much what it looks like. It's a release valve. Right. So, take this off before I hit the road. Like, share, subscribe to the channel. It's for those who not trust like myself. And every time you turn around, you hit your brakes and you don't know where the air coming from. And yesterday I ended up replacing the drum with that one in the case. So we'll go with this. So all you gotta do is take this out. There should be a nipple in there. Slide out like like so. See? Just slide out. You're gonna get a nipple here. Alright, so this goes here. So when you um you place the new one, take all this off and put this on the new one. That's pretty much about it. And get that top one off. right here so you can grab that one all right so let's see if we can get it all right so that's gonna be kind of tough get a pair of pliers on that or something keep from spinning on you so to help me do it now so get out of here so what are we gonna do you see something Piece here, yeah, there you go. Got that on there. It's already broken, so you ain't gotta worry about all that. I'm trying to be neat with it. This is already broke, so what I want to do is get it here, get it here, turn it. Make sure it turns. All I need to do is get these fittings off. Anything else, I can uh, pretty much do myself. So there you go. See, turning. Okay, guess all I want her to do is turn. When she turned, I'm good. I'm going to shop and clean these fittings up. Yeah, throw it back on. You can hit the road. All right, so this is a release valve here. It's a pressure release valve. 
damage. It's leaking from the exhaust side. This is the exhaust here. So it's leaking from that side. So got a new one in the box. Should get a new one real quick. And I'm gonna go inside. Put everything back together. So all you gotta do really is turn it out. You ain't gotta beat it up. Alright, so that's that. Pretty much this right here is the new one. Alright? So this is the new one right here. So pretty much go the same way you do it. You see how that is? It's set up like that. Top one, bottom one, the side. So pretty much all what it is. So this new one is busted. So we go with this one. Alright, so I'll get back at you. So this way it came from. All right, so that's the name of the part there. Uh, what is this? It's a quick release valve. Quick release valve, my fault. All right, so y'all see that? It's a quick release valve. That's the part number there if anybody looking to change on their own. So pretty much simple, all right? So let's go ahead and bust this down real quick. I'll get right back at y'all. YouTube. All right, right back at you. Here we go. It ain't supposed to look like this. Hey, we gotta make it work. All right, so we pretty much got it. I had to build that. All right, so we can get that to work out. So this the old one here. All right, so it busted up in there. And this the new one. So I ain't have, they, get, they sold me the wrong one. Well, the hole is bigger, if you see that. That is small. And this, is, this hole is pretty much big. So we go ahead and throw this one up real quick. And second it Alright, so we flip this around. Alright, let's get this back up. Alright, let's get it up. We had to zip tie it somewhere on here. So the whole up, I already know it's gonna be kind of like tight. So let's get it up real quick. This one goes here. Like so. Alright, so that goes there. Hand tighten it for now. Alright, so tighten it down. So get out of here. Make some money. Alright, so you know, always start with gloves. End up getting the hands dirty anyway. Alright, so it's what it is. It was it, like I said. Ah, that's that. That goes there. We're gonna have to do turn it just a little bit. Let's just turn it just a little bit. Because it's on a it's on a bit. So ah, shit. flip it just a little bit. Alright, gotta flip that. like videos like this support the channel hit the like like button share it Let's see what the family members is in the truck and all like this shit I'm gonna go that way let them know and check out the channel you yeah, got my truck and Jay this is what I do this is what I do alright so I gotta flip it back a little bit this way A little bit that way. I know it's on a buckle. All right, that'll do. Get these lines in. Like I said, take your time. Hand screw them in there. I'm gonna try to zip tie this up here and get back that I, I knocked that out. Once I knock that out, I can go ahead and uh, what I gotta do. All right, so. Cause I got a zip tie. Oh, once I knock it out, I can put new bolts when I get back tomorrow. I'll be doing it tomorrow because tomorrow I gotta work on the truck anyway. So, like I said, this is a quick release valve. This is for my brakes. So, I gotta do it now because I gotta run upstate New York. 
And while I'm sitting in traffic, it's leaking. I can't afford that to be leaking because I'm losing air pressure. We use air pressure in traffic, the trouble end up locking up. Now you gotta wait and build the pressure back up. And I'm not really trying to do all that because that's dangerous. And I don't wanna put nobody else at risk because I gotta do what I gotta do. So I wanna make sure I'm safe. Everybody around me is safe. So I'm trying at the end of the day, I gotta make it back home. So that's what it's all about, making it back home. That's the one. Come on, over here. So cut these zip ties, but there it is. So she hang there for now. And I'll try to zip tie it somewhere up in here. Try to put that on that little boat there. For now, try to stick it here. Like that, like so. It'll be up in there. I'll show you in a minute. Let's get this other one on so we can get out of here. Alright? Or I could just put a zip tie here now, run it through, and zip tie, zip tie right here. I'll show you in a minute. So let me let me get this over. So I can get out of here. I wash my hands. What up? What up? What up? What up? What up? And um, keep pushing. That's what we do. This a this is, see this could be a mercy road call. But you'll save some money if you're doing it yourself. All right. You don't want to over tighten it, but just get it to where you got it. Alright, so you don't over tighten it, but it is what it is. It's pretty much done. Alright, so let me go ahead and um, show you what I'm talking about. Alright, so there you go. So, what I want to do with this is there's a hole right here in the metal, in the frame right here. So, I'll put a zip tie there for now, then tomorrow I come in and bolt them both up. I just bolt them up tomorrow. Right now, I got to hear you get on this road, so like I said, I can let it sit here, sit like this for now, and it's going to sit there. They ain't going to go nowhere, so tomorrow, it will just be sitting right here and right there, so uh, tomorrow, I'll bolt it up, so tomorrow, it's going to sit like this. So I'll bolt them up tomorrow, so they're going to leave it like this, and I might just throw a zip tie to go through this hole here, go around here to keep it from falling. All right, so now, we pretty much done. All right, so make sure you like, share, subscribe to the channel. That's what it is, all right? All right, so this is, it's like, it's a pressure release valve. All right, so. No, quick release valve. This is a quick release valve, quick release valve. All right, so my brakes go for the uh, left to the right that goes in here. So we pretty much done. We gonna start this truck up until we get up out of here. Please make sure you like, share, subscribe to the channel. It's your boy DIY Truck with Jay. Get back at you, all right, peace.